Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. I just want to give a brief follow-up to the video that I released a couple of days ago talking about thermostat versus um, thermometer Christianity. And I really want to highlight today the gift of discernment, which I slightly alluded to in my previous video. Um, there's a lot of misconception regarding uh, the gift of discernment, and I just wanted to tell you what the gift of discernment is not in this video today. I promise you it won't be long. Long story short, uh, when we're talking about the gift of discernment, we are talking about us relying on the Holy Spirit that lives on the inside of us when we accept Jesus into our lives to grow in being able to hear him about situations, more specifically asking him to show us, is Jesus the attention and the focus point of the room, or is Jesus not the attention and focus point of the room? More specifically, is he the one that's influencing the events of what's going on in the room, or is something else at work moving around in the room? So if we see that it's not Jesus, then obviously it's not him and it's not of him, and we need to immediately address situations like that. Now, when I'm talking about addressing situations, when we discern what's going on inside the room, it's not our right or our rule to be able to go in there and just start screaming and yelling and creating a scene. But what we are trying to do when we're going into those situations is bringing Jesus into those areas with gentleness and humility and being able to speak out of meekness and out of truth where we're able to speak life into that situation and not chaos. Because too often I feel like the gift of discernment is seen as a gift where we are able to see the flaws in people and automatically we are supposed to just call those things out. That is not what the gift of discernment is. The gift of discernment is us being able to rely on the Holy Spirit to show us what is going on in the room, what the atmosphere of the room is like spiritually, and then listening to him and leaning on him to guide us into how we are going to redirect the focus of the room back to Jesus. Because we're called to dwell on things that are holy and good and righteous. We're not called to dwell on things that are immoral and sinful. And so what I'm asking you to do is to pray about how you, specifically as a believer, can grow in the gift of discernment. And more specifically, how you can be used by God to transform situations in the room. I just wanted to touch on that today because I know that I kind of alluded to it in the last video, but I did want to just mention to it to you today. I will be working on a small collaboration video later on this weekend. Um, it is Easter Sunday, so of course I'll be working on that. But if you have any questions or comments or want to, me to cover a specific topic in a future video, please leave that suggestion down in the comments section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next video. Be blessed.